What's up guys, welcome back and in this video I'd like to use Laravel Envoy for zero downtime deployment. Now for our case we're just doing a demo app so it's not really necessary but if you have an app in production that your users require it to be up 100% of the time then Envoy is a great solution and what I personally use. So if you look at the way Laravel Forge works, um, it runs this script in the web root and depending on how long this takes there can be a few seconds of downtime on your server. In my experience it doesn't last longer than 10 to 20 seconds but if you do a deployment in the middle of the day uh, your users can notice it. So let's go ahead and switch our site to use Envoy for deployments instead of Forge. So the first thing I want to do is I want to just grab the environment file and just copy all of it because we're going to need that later. And then now I want to uninstall the repo and just bring it back to a bare site. I also want to roll back the migration. So let's go ahead and do this. And if we go back to our site, it's blank and let's just check SQL Pro to see if oh, I guess it didn't save okay so I re-entered my credentials and let's connect to our database and let's just check if yeah so roll back the migrations and our database is empty cool so the next thing we want to do is Go to meta over here and we got to change this web directory. Uh, the way Envoy works is it has another directory to store all the deployments and whenever it's done it just sim links to that directory. So make sure if you're using Envoy that you're doing slash current slash public. So now let's go into Envoy and set up everything in there. Okay, so uh, we're going to add a project. We're going to call this Laravel e-commerce example. And we're going to call it production because in the next video, I'll show you how to set up a staging server as well. Uh, GitHub and the repo is called Dre himself slash Laravel e-commerce example. Save project. Okay, let's go into it and let's set up our servers. Let's add a server and let's just call it Forge. Let's grab the IP from within Forge. So this is the public IP. Let's grab that, connect as Forge, and the URL is slash home slash forge let me just double check let's ssh into our server and yeah so laravel e-commerce yeah so slash home slash forge slash laravel e-commerce example dot ca and save that server So we have to take this key and we have to add it to our server within Forge. So I'm copying this and it's going to Forge. And where is it? Servers. Here, keys. Let's call it Envoy Production. And let's paste that in. Okay, let's go back into Envoy and let's check the connection status. Okay, seems to have worked. So let's go ahead and deploy this. So deploy uh, the branches master.
Okay, it's done. Let's see if this worked. So I expect this not to work, and I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so there's an error, which I expect. But I think the error is because if you list all the files, you can see that there's no environment file here. Even if you go into the current directory, you see that there's no environment file. That's why I copied it earlier from Forge. So let's go ahead and add this. We can go ahead and put it in here if you want, but there is actually a place within Envoyer that you can put it, so let's put it through there. So if you go to just manage environment, it's gonna ask for a key. Um, I already have one. So if you don't have one, you can make a new one. And we're just gonna paste our environment file in here. And we're gonna sync it to a, our Forge server here. Okay, so I'm just gonna update this on servers. And you can see it's syncing there for a second. And now if we do the same thing, so if you don't see this env file, uh, just deploy your application again and it should appear. It actually took me two deploys here for that to show up. And all this does is it sim links to the one in the directory above it. So this is the actual, so this one is the one that contains all the information. So. Again, just make sure that the one in your current directory shows up and it sim links to the correct location. If that doesn't show up, just deploy this a few times and it should show up. So now, if we refresh this, we still get an error. So if you just look at the logs here, and let's scroll down. Oh, so it looks like I forgot to migrate the database. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can do that for within here. So PHP artisan migrate. Yes. Okay. Let's see if that worked. And it did. There's no data. Let's go ahead and see that. Yes and that should be seeded. Awesome. Now we're using Laravel Envoyer. So let me just show you the workflow. It's pretty much exactly the same as Laravel Forge. So let's just make a change. Let me change this to screencasts, plural. So I'll go into code. Uh, let's look for screencast. All right, let's change this to screencasts. Save. Um, let me just open a new tab. Get status. All right, let me just add this part, I think eight. Deploy using Envoyer. Get push. Okay, now let's go ahead and go into Envoyer. Let's deploy this. Again, you can set up quick deploy if you want. Um, it's within here, I think. Where is it? Right here, deploy when code is pushed, but personally, I like to push that button. And I think it's done. Let's see if that worked. So this should be plural after I refresh. And it is awesome. So there you have it, guys. We managed to use Laravel Envoyer to have zero downtime deployments for our application. In the next video, I will show you how I manage staging and production environments using Envoyer as well. So I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching, comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you guys in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.